Hey guys, hey friends, I hope you guys are well. It's um, already April of 2017, hard to believe. Um, I just kind of was going to talk a couple of minutes just about what we're sort of going through and maybe it'll be an encouragement to you guys um, to really hear the Lord and do what He's asking you to do as well. Over the past about 10 days, it seems as though the Lord has kind of said to us to pull back a little bit and just kind of, well, let me say this. We've been really working hard toward getting some things in place to do what it is we really believe God's called us to do. And we've spoken to some of you um, about helping us, partnering with us financially and in prayer. And we're really, really grateful to those of you who could and are and have. And um, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um, and we've been pursuing going after getting some things in place to to do our music we we kind of about two weeks ago two and a half weeks ago we really felt the lord kind of helping us redefine not norm enormously redefine but just sort of simplify how we're trying to communicate what it is that god's called us to do um and we'll fill you in on that at some point but even as we were kind of moving forward and taking steps to kind of put that all together and begin talking with some folks and filling them in on what we're doing and um, asking for folks to partner with us. We felt the Lord just kind of say, I want you to take a step back. This time of year for me is, oh, it's kind of an emotional time because I got saved back on Easter Sunday in 1979. And over the past couple of days, it's like the weather has kind of been reminding me of that time in my life and spring and it's warming up and the blooms are coming out it's awesome it's beautiful but it just kind of i think what the lord has been saying to me through that time and through what we felt like in terms of the lord saying back up just rest a little bit has to do with this concept that i think maybe it'll apply to a lot of you guys but you know um when you're starting to move forward sometimes the lord will ask actually the steps forward will kind of be a step sideways or a step backwards it feels like and that is that he always wants to bring healing to our hearts and our lives so that our faith is grounded and rooted and cemented in the truth about who he is and who he says we are and uh, that seems to be the thing that the Lord is focusing on in our lives lately uh, you know basically saying to us I want you to know my love for you in a way that makes you unshakable, not to use a song title we wrote, hint, hint, uh, but to really truly be unshakable in the knowledge of the love of God. And um, I really believe, I feel like the Holy Spirit's been saying to us that until those areas are sort of dealt with, and it's not even that we're really super aware of them, and they're not big sin issues or moral failures. They're more just places where we just are not trusting God to the degree that I really believe will help us move forward in an unshakable way into what he's called us to do, which I believe is coming quickly. Uh, you know, a verse that I've got sitting here on, on my desk down here in the studio, it's uh, 2 Corinthians 2.14, but thanks be to God who in Christ always leads us in triumph. And through us, spreads and makes evident the fragrance of the knowledge of God everywhere. You know, that's what we're all supposed to be doing. Um, not out of duty, but when we're thankful to God for who Christ is in us, we're able to follow him and see the victory occur and the triumph occur that he's already provided for us, but specific to our lives. And then when we're walking in that place of, of knowing him and being full of him and walking in victory and triumph, then people, they smell something different. They have an aroma, they sense a fragrance about our lives that makes them want who we have, so to speak. Um, but anyway, I just would encourage you, you know, Easter's coming up in a short time. It's going to be a time to reflect and remember all that Jesus did for us. And I encourage you to kind of step back, enjoy that time, even if it's not God 
doing some deep work in you. But if it's a time of remembering, it's going to be a great time and it'll be really beneficial. So we love you guys and pray blessings on you and hope you have a great uh, week coming up. And we will talk to you again next week. And hopefully Renee's going to be here. She was just busy and couldn't be here this morning. So I wanted to get this done. Blessings to you guys. We'll see you. Bye-bye.